What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Tom and Jerry, the newest film from director Tim Story. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button, join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as comment below on any video you watch, including this one. So as we know, Tom and Jerry is a very well-known duo of a cat and mouse who are constantly chasing after one another. Very famous, been around since the 40s. You know, Hanna-Barbera were the ones that created them. And uh, they, I've always enjoyed Tom and Jerry. I always thought they were fun. They're, you know, energetic and ridiculous. And, you know, like the Warner Brother characters of old, they do some silly, crazy stuff that seems out of the norm and is very impossible. But that's what, you know, Looney Tunes and, you know, Disney animated characters did they just they did crazy stuff especially warner brothers characters with like you know bugs bunny and so on and so forth but tom and jerry have always had their own nook they had a house and you know things to play with and stuff like that so it's always been a, a crazy thing for you know a, ma a mouse and a cat to kind of have their life you know tom is you know, a very angry cat who, you know, just wants to live the good life and is constantly being harassed by a mouse. You know, Jerry, to me personally, is kind of a dick in a lot of respects. He's kind of a jerk in just how he acts and how he, like, is thinks he's special and so on and so forth. It's kind of funny to watch, but, you know, it is Tom and Jerry. And so here we are, you know, 2021. Tom and Jerry is released into the public. And following in the footsteps of stuff like Alvin and the Chipmunks and Marmaduke and so on and so forth, Scooby-Doo, all that good stuff, uh, Tom and Jerry have been brought into the real world. They have been brought into this world where every animal is an animated character. So they are going off the kind of inspiration of Who Framed Roger Rabbit in a lot of ways. And even Tim Story said Who Framed Roger Rabbit was a huge inspiration for this movie. So the fact that these animals and the fact they're animated and they are in this real world, it would, doesn't make a lot of sense in the aspect of, you know, the world they're living in, you know, kind of like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It makes sense in that world. But, you know, like I said, they, because they're animated and they talk and stuff like that, people are just used to them. And Tom and Jerry have been, at some point in this story, in the beginning, have been kicked out of their house. They are traveling the railways and stuff like that. And they meet up in New York, where we meet a character who's played by Ch Chloe Grace Moretz, who is a person that has been kind of wandering the world for most of her life. She doesn't really have any purpose. She's running like laundry to every to other people's houses and stuff like that. And after a scuffle between the mouse and cat, uh, she finds herself at the uh, Royal Hotel where there's going to be a gigantic wedding by this uh, couple named Ben and Prita. And somehow, some way, she's able to kind of coerce herself into being the event manager for this wedding. We have uh, Rob Delaney, who plays the hotel manager, who's very forgiving in everything he does. We have, of course, Michael Pena, who's the actual event manager, who is very just kind of over the top and kind of he's like almost like the bad guy of this movie but you know he really isn't and if you worked at any hotel for you know so at any point in your career you know any of this stuff that's going on in this movie would never happen but because this is tom and jerry and because this is a kids movie you just kind of have to accept it for what it is and so shenanigans happen the cat's trying to go after the mouse you know spike comes into the mix you know the bulldog and it's just a movie about the hijinks of the cat and mouse it's about you know the chloe grace moretz character trying to prove herself and it's a very stereotypical movie with very stereotypical characters we just have tom and jerry and his friends thrown into the mix and so on and so forth with some updated music and updated visuals and so on and so forth so as a reviewer it's very hard to want to bash this movie or get angry about it because it's not meant as a film that's supposed to be taken seriously it's meant about a movie about a cat and a mouse basically fighting over one another creating hysterics and problems and all kinds of chaos in this hotel and the fact that the hotel just forgives them for everything it's just uh, looking at it, like I said, as a hotel employee is just really weird, but um, overall the movie's fine. It really is. It's an entertaining movie that has characters you you have, are very beloved characters that you truly love growing up as a kid. And to be fairly honest, it's exactly what you get in this movie. It's not a good movie at all. I don't think Tim, Tim uh, Story directs very well when he directs and writes and all that stuff. Uh, it's weirdly written by the Brigsby Bear writer, which is interesting. So there's a little, so, a little bit of substance there and a little bit of character development. But in the long run, you know, my negative feeling about the movie, which I really didn't care for the movie very much, much 
but I still enjoy Tom and Jerry. I still enjoy what they do. It's a movie that it just it just goes there and has singing birds and stuff like that. But it's a uh, what makes it what makes it work and what makes Alvin and Chipmunks not work is Tom and Jerry are doing exactly like Tom and Jerry. They're fun or entertaining to watch. You know, Jerry through most of this movie is trying to build himself a house, so he's like stealing the ring off uh, Preda and Ben and stuff like that. And he's always stealing cheese. And of course, Tom is always in, trying to find inventive ways to capture to the mouse and so on and so forth so on that aspect it just kind of works for what it is as a hour and 30 minute leave the kids in front of the screen type movie but i think we're what the director tim story is trying to do and you know trying to kind of be inspired by who framed roger rabbit and stuff like that i think it does work on that on that on that level i guess you could say and like I said, Tom and Jerry just have their, their fun moments. They really do. They have their inspired moments and working together and, you know, the calamity that they cause and so on and so forth. But with that said, to kind of end this review, it's a movie that is for kids. It's meant for kids. It's, you know, a fun, entertaining romp of Tom and Jerry themselves. And if you can get past all the adult stuff, all the live action character stuff, I think uh, in the end you probably would enjoy this film. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's really, it's not really a movie that aims high for anything, but just to be a slapsticky type comedy. And uh, in that in that respect, it works. So, uh, but that's it. That's gonna be my take on Tom and Jerry. Like I said, it's a movie that I don't really have high respect for, but I love Tom and Jerry enough that you know it's a fun movie for what it's worth. So. But that's it. That's my take on Tom and Jerry. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie. It arrives on HBO Max today as well as in the theaters. Uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think about Tom and Jerry? All that good stuff. But otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you liked the video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.